Let us commence. God, your children are not your children. Your children are not your children. They belong, they are the daughters and sons of life's longing for itself. Uncaught. I repeat, your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. Uncaught. Says Khalil Gibran. The famous Lebanese poet who encompasses in his heart all the fragrance in the valleys and the hills of Lebanon. This is a message I want to give to my kids and the kids in the healthcare profession. In the healthcare profession, be a doctor, a specialist, or a super specialist, or no specialist at all, or a dentist. The very thought shudders me waiting in the lobby for a drilling or a root canal or be nurses. The granddaughters of Florence Nightingale, who became the miraculous lamb with them, the white sari clad angels everywhere, or the pharmacists who are with the Apollyon drugs who submit who add, mitigate my pains and the aches, or the radiologists who could peep beneath my skin and see which bone of mine is fractured or which rib wants welding, or the dietitians who recommends me what to eat or what not to eat if I want to, if I don't want to go to the heaven immediately. Or the speech therapist um, who help me to talk, articulate in the language of Milton and Shakespeare or use a Sanskrit phrase Mugam Karoti Vachalam or an optometrist who helps me to see things in a new light or the podiatrist who help me to trod the untrodden path or the occupational therapist who can look into the uh, fathom, unfathom the caves of my mind, analyze my emotions, my feelings, my mental physical and all aspects and correct me and finally last but not least are the webs who are God's own creations for the animals. Dear my friends in the healthcare sector you are the sons and daughters of life's own longing. You are not confined to uh, Quellum or Kerala or to the nation. Nationality is great, but you belong to the world. Think about your days in the medical school. You spend a lot of money, time, energy, but still what you have learned is but a little. And how much do you use them? Where do you have the opportunity? Are you rewarded properly? Uh, quite recently, as the uh, first of July, we were, I was talking to a set of uh, retiring doctors and they told, Sir, what I am retiring tomorrow, what I know now is the tip of an iceberg. If that is for a retiring doctor, a specialist, what do you know? Dear my friends in the healthcare sector, go. Go in search of the new areas, new pastures for new opportunities. Now whatever you have learned is only 
I repeat, tip of an iceberg. Go to those places where opportunities are waiting for you. Where you are rewarded and respected. Every day make you add something to your CV. Add something every day, at least in a week, add something to your CV. Go to Australia. They are waiting for you. All these descents of the professionals. Go to Canada. They are in demand of you. Go to New Zealand. The best country, the UK. They want you. Whether you are a doctor or you are a vet. Go. And it is here that BMAX can help you. BMAX. They are a specialist in O. E T Occupational English Test. It is an international language testing system. All the doc no, uh, all those who would like to go to work or to study in a Europe English speaking country, as I've mentioned, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, UK, or Germany, or any European countries, you want a language test. It can be IELTS, yes, no doubt, IELTS, International English Language. But there, uh, just think about a nurse, uh, uh, now reading a passage uh, on music, modern music, or a podiatrist reading something on, uh, say for example, budgeting. Whereas, when you come to OET, occupational, it is your subject that you are listening, you are reading, you are writing and you are speaking. That is called the familiarity. Familiarity, the topic you are reading. Yes, you have four subtests. These are this occupational English test. This test has four subtests. Sub test hyphen. B any word ending is silent. So it is not a sub test. Sub test. So you have four subtests. L R W S. Listening. Where you have A, B, and C, A part, you have 24 questions, B, you have uh, 6, and remaining 40, uh, 4, 42 mark. And this they convert into a wonderful uh, equation and make it 500. A scale 500, and what BMAX trains you. Oh, we are not teachers. We are not teachers. We don't teach you anything because remember, it's, no, you are uh, Hippocrates. He said, nothing can be taught. I repeat, nothing can be taught and everything has to be learned. And the function of a teacher is helping them. That's why we call ourselves trainers or maximum. Are not your children. So in be man, your children we help you. Your children. We help you. To get they belong. Not B. They are. We want you to get A. Is it possible? Yes. Proof of the pudding is eating it. And B max is in the list. Now you look at the, go to the uh, website of OET. <clears throat> it says, doctor's pass percentage is 65 to 70. But with B max, 100%. My doctor of students who are listening to me, or, oh yes, I got a message uh, this morning telling me that I'm giving the talk. And he was telling, yes, he is an A grader. A is not, that is what we are preparing for. Come, B Max is waiting for you. It is not a hard nut to crack. But there is something called a mother. There is a mother. For example, in listening. Listening, uh, you are going to listen something different. Not the accent, not the accent of India, not the pronunciation of India. You are going to listen to something different. But there is a method. Uh, uh, we have in BMAX an uh, R&D, research and development, and we are doing into that. Every day, we have a wonderful man at the helm of affairs in BMAX. We call him, and his name is Mr. Sam Shoukath. We call him fondly Chancellor. And he is a, he, he, a person of uh, BMAX, you know, has several branches and is spread across the globe. And a man who is at the head of uh, Hem of Affairs, 
must be a businessman. Unfortunately, our Sansar is not. He is an educationist and he leaves, as I usually tell, no stones until to see that what the students want. I have seen him awake in the mid of the day and in the hours of the day. See, thinking, pondering what can be done. Come, we will make your reading easy. Reading, reading. Uh, remember Tagore's line? Tagore, you call him, uh, in Bengal they call Gurudev. Tagore's autobiography, reminiscence. Where he says, we in the school were like a, a specimen kept in biology lab in formalin and teachers throwing pelleting on us. No, that is not reading. That is called passive reading. We teach you what is active reading and how it can be done. You professionals, you know, you give protein supplement, you give calcium supplement, yes in Bmax, we give you supplement for reading and listening. Make reading and listening nothing less than A grade. We don't teach you. In Bmax, we don't teach for B, we teach for A. Is it possible? I quote Christopher Marlowe. Christopher Marlowe, a contemporary of Shakespeare, he says, What a man can do, what a man can do, what a man can do, I can. If any student, in a, a doctor student or a, a OIT can get A in BMAC, why not you? You can. Therefore, and then comes to writing. And these two, that is listening and reading, are, uh, are for all professions. Whether you are a doctor or you are a vet or you are a podiatrist or you are an optometrist or a dietist, whatever you, you have to do the same reading what the doctor is doing in Kerala or in New Delhi, the same thing. And here comes the importance of taking OET and not IELTS because the myocardial infraction when uh, the question paper says you know what it is. But when uh, they say about the architectonic uh, of uh, uh, poetry, <laughs> that is something totally different for you in IELTS. That is the difference between the two. It is OET is health care professionals, meant for them. Whereas the other is for all general, where you find it is boring. Yes, if uh, somebody comes and talks to you in a language which you don't understand, it is boring. So it is the case. And not because uh, I, OET is easy. Yes, I uh, make a clean breast of me, telling that OET oh, don't think it is easy. It is not the difficulty level or both, but it is more familiar to you. That is why we say, come, come to BMAX. Uh, ring now. And uh, we have a wonderful lady. I was talking about Sansa. And uh, he is a very successful man. Behind him, his success is given by a torch by a wonderful lady. We call her Surmi Madam. Surmi means beautiful. She is beautiful. Beauty is not a physical attribute. It is her mental. That is uh, like her husband. She also works. Call her. A number is given below. You call her and see. If you, do you want to see how you can ask for a demo? Our trainers are there and we have weekly training. There's a wonderful question when you come to speaking. Module. They ask a question in warm up session. Do you think updating is important? Do you think updating is important? Because after leaving your medical school, it is several years. Everything has changed. How do you update yourself? Updation is very important. Not only for the person, the trainers also. Every week we have a, an updating for the trainers training. On uh, OIT, it is on Saturday. So we have that. Then we have weekly mock tests. Mock tests are very important. Then I remember when I was uh, in my IELTS days, my trainer was telling me, uh, do you want to know there are three things if you want to get a nine band, that is something like your A, there are three things. If you want to get a nine hundred percent, I asked what is that? One, practice. Two, practice. Three, practice. <laughs> Same thing here also. 
Now here, what is needed is that we give all Saturday Friday's mock test. You do exactly a kind of a, a deja vu. A deja vu. Make it more perfect. We have monthly central mock test. Exactly deja vu of the final test. All the branches, we have several branches in, Indi in India. And so all the students are getting the same and then review of it. That makes you familiarize. That makes you, why some dogs don't, uh, some dogs uh, don't behave? Because they don't know you. But if the dog knows you, he is very calm. He knows he's a friend of my master. So that is what uh, we are doing. Familiarize. For monthly, we have four mock tests and add sugar to that. We have a central mock test. Come. Let us work together. And that is what Aristotle says. With a mutual cooperation, hard work, and total dedication unto the feet of the Lord. There is nothing in this world that cannot be one double negative. There is nothing in this world. You come and let us see that you are the winner. Here my friends go. Go to these English speaking countries. Learn every day. New experience. It is not brainwashing. No, brain drain. That's what they say. The young bright people are going to different country. Country is losing. And the country spent so much on this lot. That's true. But at the end, the nation is going to be benefited. When you go there and work for 10, 20 years and come back, you are coming with a rich experience, like the firefly with the fire on its butt. You are coming with a rich experience. Look at the Chivandra Medical College. All that organ transplantation are done by doctors coming from European countries. Go! Uh, pass your not only wealth, but knowledge. Come back. Help your citizens. Uh, I would like to make a quick recap. Now usual questions I am asked or bombarded. Sir, can you please tell me uh, some shortcut? Uh, usually what I say is that uh, there is no shortcut but the hard work. Please don't hard work. That is meant for animals. Hard work. You look at this animal you can see. The dog is in queue. Going up hard work. Don't do hard work. Work intelligently. And if you want a, a shortcut, yes, I have. I have a shortcut. That is, respect your mother. Touch the feet of your mother. She is a supreme goddess. Second, touch the feet of your father. He is Paramashiva, ultimate god. Third, think about your Lord, the God, who enabled us to meet each other and his wonderful glaring light sitting with and talking to you from a distant corner of memory. It is because of his mercy. I pray for honor and honor. May God bless you so that let us grow together so that you are benefited and the satellite around you your friends, your spouses, your children. Because Aganai thought you are your children are not your children. They belong, they are sons and daughters of life's longing for it. Namaste. May God bless you.